Hello guys, this is your teacher JC and welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka lang po dito sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like at pa-subscribe na lang din po para updated po kayo sa aking mga upcoming videos. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung mga frequently asked questions in submitting your US tax info. Excited ba kayo? At bago natin simulan, gusto ko lang po sanang magpasalamat sa mahigit isang libong taong nanood sa aking video that I uploaded last March 10, 2021 entitled Google AdSense Update, How to Manage Your Tax Info. May tax nga ba? 24% to 0%. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. When I uploaded this video, I received tons of messages concerns and questions now i will try to answer some of their questions disclaimer lang po hindi po ako expert i just want to share my knowledge what i have known based on what i have read and what i have searched let's begin first one bakit kailangan natin mag-submit ng tax form it's all because of the us Law. Google needs to comply with its obligation under the United States Internal Revenue Code Section 1441 Chapter 3 and 3406. Pero Teacher JC, hindi po ako American citizen nor nakatira sa Amerika. Wala pong problema dahil this form will be used for our future payments. Because if it happens, yung videos mo, majority of your viewers came from United States of America, you will be taxed. So you will be deducted accurately and correct. Kaya kailangan nating mag-submit ng tax form. Klaro? Next. Bakit po may tatlong services? Dapat po ba tatlo ang pipiliin? When you fill out your tax form, may makikita kang tatlong services. Una, AdSense services. Alam po natin kung ano yung mga services na nakukuha natin kay AdSense. From 30% na naka-default, if you will claim your treaty benefits, it becomes zero. Next, the copyright royalties. Ano po ba ito yung copyright royalties? Ito po yung mga creator ng music videos and songs. Yung mga owner ng music at songs, may tinatawag po silang royalties. Kaya, if you are a YouTube creator, you will be using a music, magkakaroon po kayo ng copyright claim. ba? Diba? Or kung mamalasin, magkakaroon ng copyright strike. Dahil yun sa royalties na pinagmamayari ng owner ng music na ginamit mo. Is it clear? Now, yung mga owner na may copyright royalties from 30% na naka-default, if you will claim the treaty benefit, it becomes 15%. Klaro? Next, motion picture and TV royalties. Nowadays, hindi lang vlogs, music videos, songs ang nakikita natin sa YouTube. Meron na ding mga shows, movies, and series. Yung owner ng mga movies, series, and shows, meron din silang tinatawag na royalties. Kaya, from 30% na naka-default, If they will claim the treaty benefit, it becomes 15%. Klaro po ba? Now, going back po sa tanong na to, dapat po ba tatlo ang pipiliin? It's your prerogative. But if you'll be asking my advice, siguro, let's make it three for the future. Malay natin. In the near future, you will be creating your own music. In the near future, you will be creating your own videos or movies. At least, your tax were already reduced. Klaro po ba? Next. 
Ano po yung quarantine? Marami po ako nabasang comment na to. Tinawag po siyang quarantine kasi hindi po tayo American citizen nor nakatira sa Amerika. Kaya tinawag siyang quarantine. Yung teen number natin. Yung teen na kinuha natin sa BIR. Kasi if you are 18 years old in above, applying for a job, or if you have a job, one of the requirements is your teen, right? Kasi nagbabayad po tayo ng tax. Kaya kailangan natin i-indicate ang ating foreign teen sa ating tax info to claim our treaty benefits. Teacher JC, wala po akong teen number. Pero legal age ako. Of course, kailangan mong kumuha ng teen number on or before March 31 para ma-indicate mo sa tax info ninyo. Next, Teacher JC, minor age po ako, wala po akong teen. Alam po natin na from the very beginning, when you created your YouTube account, especially AdSense, you are advised na ipangalan or i-under yung information sa taong legal age. It could be your mother, it could be your father, it could be your sister, or it could be your brother. Kung ano yung information sa payment details mo sa AdSense, yun din dapat yung information na nakalagay sa yung tax info. Klaro po ba? Next, bakit kailangan pang i-review? As what I have said, kung ano yung payment details ninyo, dapat magmamatch po siya sa tax info ninyo. Kung ano yung name and address. Kasi, pag hindi po siya nagmamatch sa payment details ninyo at sa tax info ninyo, possibly, hindi siya maa-approve or matatagalan yung pag-verify. Klaro po ba? Hindi siya ma-approve if the information will not match or at the same time, kung mali yung TIN number na nilagay ninyo. Sa Pilipinas, we have nine digits number. Kung mali yung TIN na nilagay mo, hindi nag-match, hindi siya ma-approve. Hindi mo makiklaim yung treaty benefits. Klaro po ba? Next. Paano kung wala ako sa Pilipinas? Nothing to worry because I myself, I am an OFW. I am working here in Saudi Arabia. Uulitin ko lang po, kung ano lang po yung details na nakalagay sa AdSense payment ninyo should be the same information na ilalagay ninyo sa inyong tax info para wala pong aberya. Klaro po ba? Kasi, when you fill out your form, first thing is you are asked to identify your country of citizenship. Kahit andito ako sa Saudi Arabia, of course, ang ilalagay ko, Pilipinas. At I need to indicate my TIN number sa Pinas. Second, my address. Yung address ko sa AdSense payment details is Philippines, yun din yung nilagay ko dito. Pero, if yung AdSense details mo, yung saang country kang nagtatrabaho ngayon o nakabase, dapat ganun din yung information na ilagay ninyo dito sa pangalawa. Your address in your country. Dahil doon po babasihan kung yung country mo meron bang tax treaty with US. If meron, makaka-benefit ka. Pag wala, you will be deducted or you will be taxed sa naka-default na 30%. Klaro po ba? Now, if nakalimutan mong i-manage yung tax info ninyo, ano ang mangyari? You will be taxed up to 24% in your world wide earnings dahil iisipin ni Google ni AdSense that you are an American citizen 
So, lahat ng earnings ng videos mo, kahit saan country siyan, kung sino man nanood sa videos mo, you will be deducted or you will be taxed up to 24%. Klaro po ba? Kaya, I encourage you as early as now, manage your tax info. Klaro po ba? At dyan po tayo nagtatapos. Sana po may naitulong po itong video na to. If you still have questions and clarifications, feel free to write that one in the comment section below. Once again, this is your teacher JC saying, Never stop learning. For when we stop learning, we stop growing. Goodbye! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.